Okay, we're out here at the farm in the ditch and we're trying to figure out why this ditch is not draining. Well, I think they figured it out. What'd you hit? <laughs> he hit the jackpot yeah. here. We're thinking there's a little six or eight inch tube in there with a, a real fine screen on it and it gets full of grass and weeds and stuff and it won't drain. So the Kemp boys are out here trying to figure this out and get it done right. So they're probing around and you can see that he must have hit something down there because she's really flowing in there now. So we've already had drainage problems in the ditch. Yeah, there's one here and one there. And that has to be from up there because that's never run that fast. It'd take you probably 20 seconds to fill up a cup of coffee. That's how slow it came out of there. That pipe there, for your records, is six inch dual wall pipe. You don't have to write that down because that don't that's Spanish to me. <laughs> well, I didn't know if you were recording it, just recorded it. It is. It's six inch dual wall pipe. Um that's foreign to me, but it's it just looks like tile. But uh but this thing's really running out. This has it run out like this here and forever in a day so and this tile runs all the way up there to where Trenton's at with the red truck so basically what this does here is up there with a the truck there's a tube and then up, way up there's another one and there's a tile in the middle of the field where all this water is going to drain this way there's two outlets here there's one here and I'll show you the one down there so that's what it does and I, that's what we were talking why does he take that water up by the truck and bring it all the way down here why did he just take it from that middle of the field and take it to the ditch instead of from the ditch over to here I don't know it's weird 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 and the other one's down here hope everybody had a great weekend we actually took a bus trip up to the Chicago up to Milwaukee to watch the Cubs play uh, yesterday on Sunday May 1st 57 of us went up from Bellevue here and we actually met another bus up there from St. Anita so it's kind of cool so there's a lot of people from the Jackson County area huh? here's the other one right here and that one's flowing out about the same as the one up there. What it's doing is draining the water out of this field. Uh, it's called tiling, but that's what it's doing. It's cleaning the water out of the field so it gets drier faster, quicker, so we can get in there and work it. Uh, they think up there there's a six or an eight inch tube up by the red truck the, where the water comes in to drain all the way down here that it's uh, got a screen on it, kind of like a window screen. That's how fine it is. And that's gonna catch a lot of stuff and clog that up so the water is not going to come through and that's why that water hasn't been running like that like it should so hopefully we can get that figured out i don't know once the water gets out of there maybe we get up there we can two options either move remove the screen that's on it and put a bigger screen on it or do it right and put the riser on it so that's what they're going to have to figure out not me so okay we'll talk at you later okay another small project we're going to have uh Travis and Trenton do is I want to make this driveway about the same as over here as you see that one's about 30 feet this one's about 16 17 feet not good with bringing e big equipment out of here so you got to be really careful make it wide to come out here with the grain cart the big 400 so what we're going to do I'm going to have Travis come in and extend this tube about 10 12 feet out this way and then we'll have a big driveway where it matches up with this one over here because you need to do 10 12 feet because if you put in 10 feet you'll lose three feet of the runoff as you can see here looks like we lost about three four feet here where the driveway's up here the tubes down there and it kind of washes away like that drainage ways so that's what he is gonna do <laughs> so and then we got a little work on the pond over there. He's going to do that too. And we'll work on that. He's going to make that so the cows can come in a little bit easier. Okay, sounds like we're going to head to the farm and do a little uh, anhydrous applying today. Okay, I am uh, heading back home. Get a few things cleaned up. And I got to head down to Preston. But look at that. I got my dog with me. Hi, Bella. Hi. He's going to start working on some of this stuff here hopefully today. And we'll get that rocking and rolling. Oh, there's a turkey right there. Hen turkey sitting right there in my field. That's what I'm going to do. I, well, actually, i got to get rid of my recyclables here real quick. And then I'm going to head home and grab a coffee and go to work. I'm going to walk over here and show you our uh, our newest purchase for the cows. As I cross this fence carefully. But we had to get a couple more 
critters and we got them up here looks like they're good looking bulls got one there one down there hey be nice how we doing good looking bull down there yeah i agree with you so but so we got a bull here and a bull here they'll be up in this ground here when we get the other cows up here hopefully in the next few days we'll get some cows up here for them as you can see we did bring one cow up it was an open cow so that tube there is going to get hooked on to right here and that's that way we can make this gate hole bigger to about here and then we'll be able to put the fence in down that way there so he didn't waste no time going to get that that's good wow he done fix this this should take care of this whole thing now hear it running that runs right on out there so this should take care of this good it looks like the boys got the other one in too that's what was in there wasn't doing much but uh they put a different one in so the water coming down the ditch it actually looks like it's coming out of this way too and it'll drain in there and get out of here so that should dry things up for us so once again boys thanks a lot no okay i'm just getting down to the farm we got sprayers out, tractors out, big tractors out, combines out, semis here, my Mountain Dew. That's got to get cleaned up. The combine's got to get cleaned up and put away. So a lot of stuff to go on if it ever dry up down here. There should be a truck and a tank over here. Oh, there it is. So I'm going to get into this truck and run this down to Curtis. And then see what the game plan is from there. So let's get rocking and rolling. It's supposed to rain later on tonight, so we got to get as much done as we can now. So, well, you can see they hardly got any rain down here. It's dry. Truck tank, truck tank. Looks like you got the two young hard tongue boys here. Curtis in the back. Nathan in the truck, tractor. Greasing things up. Another nice day. Nice and cloudy and cool. Boy, no rain down here. So we gotta grease everything up so everything runs smooth. Two hard tongue boys working side by side, not fighting. Boy, this is nice to see. Not yet, he says. <laughs> I'll get out of here if that happens. <laughs> okay. There goes Curtis. He's got about 50 acres here, the way it sounds yet. There goes Curtis. He's got about 50 acres here, the way it sounds yet. This might get him through with this tank here and the one he's got, but I might have to bring one more down to finish it. I don't know. But we'll drop this down here at this waterway. Steep hills. Follow this tractor. Then we'll drop this tank down by that waterway. Bouncy, bouncy, bouncy. There he goes. He's got going up there. He's got to get all this and this. And then I got to go get some shear pins or shear bolts and some knives. So. Okay, he's got about another 10 minutes before that tank's empty. So what he's going to do is he's going to run up, up over this hill where it gets flatter to empty it out. Because on the hills, you won't get it all the way empty. So he's going to go up and empty it. Take about 10 minutes and then he'll come back and hook up to this one and hopefully finish this one and then finish this one and then move up to the next farm which I don't know where it's going to be at well I just got my outside rounds done I'm starting my I'm actually using my same AB line that I used over there on that field a couple ditches in here gotta do a little work yet but otherwise it ain't too bad I don't think this piece is bad as that one over there rock wise underneath the ground but I guess we'll uh, see as we go. Nice little, I don't know, between this piece and that piece right over there, a little corner piece, it's 40 some acres, so. Still for Nathan here. Got this tank just about empty. Bud's up there waiting to swap, swap the tanks out. He'll run her up and get me another tank. Racing the rain again though. Got some coming tonight again. So get as much done as we can, I guess. I'm back at the home place, Grandma's, and I'm gonna sit tight till I hear from Curtis. See if he needs this tank either here or down where he's at to finish up. We don't know for sure until he gets about 
almost done and then i'm going to run down to nathan and get him a couple tanks for the stirk farm so i'm just going to sit tight we're back and bouncing like crazy today kind of hurts not gonna lie we're gonna get her done dust is flying this part of the farm anyway that part over there right over there wetter it's because we're real close to uh sea level it's real low here real low ground and uh usually it stays wetter we tried and tiled it and stuff and can't do anything about it it stays wet pretty much all the time unless there's a real dry year like last year last year was a real good year it was dry we were fortunate well we made it down to the paul sturk farm i think there's i don't know 70 80 acres here he's got to do so he's unhooking here he's got an empty tank so i'm going to pick this tank up run it down to clinton fill it up and then bring it back he's got a full one up there in the corner so i'll bring him another one looks a little wet but it looks like he's getting it done ron's on his way up he did not get picked for jury duty so that's good and bad i guess i don't know but i think he's going to start spraying this afternoon sometime well it looks like he's got a little bit of dust going out here so he must be going pretty good i'll bring him back to this tank here and then i gotta go check on curtis bouncing around a little bit though look. this is starting to become a familiar sight Got the goods, two poppet valves for the sprayer. Card of this video right here was the last one where I was actually working on it and I found it. it helps if you're actually in reverse. To the farm. See how many sprayers we can see. I've counted four already before DeWitt. Sorry, planters, not sprayers. We got a wet spot here. Got pretty lucky. About started uh, in my pants a little bit. I got a fairly full tank and that's uh. It's not light. She was sinking a little bit, but we got her under control. Saw two planters and then there was a Eberhardt sprayer. Wow, I didn't see any planters in the last 20 miles. Maybe everyone, maybe everyone in my area is just so far behind on anhydrous and spraying and stuff, but there's no planting yet. Kuno's already up here working on the sprayer. Nice, a lot of stuff going on. I love it. Let's go see what's going on. I know Curtis and Nathan are both putting on anhydrous. My dad's running tanks for them. And Pat's hopefully finishing up the spray trailer. And Kunal's is here working on the uh, spray racer I found the other day. Shutting off, lifting up, because it's too muddy. See all that, all that uh, darker soil over there? Yeah, that's real wet. I had the outline right there. That's another wet spot. It's even a little soft here. And uh, some of you may ask why we are out here doing this. Just because it's. Uh, May 3rd and uh, we have to get it done sometime so over half of this farm was fairly dry actually really dry up that way so we could get it done and then uh, like this part of the farm over there that we're not able to get done maybe in a few weeks if we get a dry spell um, We'll probably have Eberhards come down and uh, put liquid nitrogen on for us. Be our best option probably, the way it's looking. Chugging right along, getting acres done. So the sprayer's already done. Been helping Pat for the last 20 minutes. Been really trying to push hard to, the, to get that thing done. We're gonna run over next door to grab a hose on the old spray trailer. Here's our old wrinkly setup. Take you, take you. So we'll need a battery to power our chemical pumps at some point. Last thing is I'll take that motor mount slash top of a dog kennel. We got the Glencoe chisel off of the 340, the new 340, because we did a little bit of chiseling where our bag used to be as well as kind of our sweet corn patch here. So that thing's gonna go on the bean planter tomorrow. And we got the 340 sitting out, sprayer sitting out, cat sitting out, and the 2788 sitting out. A lot of stuff just about ready and raring to go. Sure, I got one. Getting the trailer set up. This 
spring equipment shuffle is real. We're like a day behind on all of our equipment prep. If we had like another day, we would have our two extractors hooked up, planter hooked up, everything ready to go, but we just don't right now. Spray trailer should have been done before, but hey, it just is what it is. We have a ton of stuff going on. The cat cattle just, they take time. As much as I would be much rather ready to roll when the weather's ready, sometimes cattle take priority because, you know, they are a living being. Well, we just got done with that piece. Across the road, we hopped over to this side. Now to the east side of the road, we got this little bean stubble here to do. I'll line some waterways on this one. It won't take long to do this little piece, and I believe I'm gonna head up to the farm and do some behind the farm. Kinda get it closer back home. It's supposed to storm here again tonight. I'll let that sucker fill up. You are the reason we're not always ready to plant. Trey, right, I blame you. I can stare at him just like you can. Trey, you better be afraid. <laughs> Cattle are gentle creatures that are usually mildly afraid of humans, which is good, because if they weren't, they weigh five times as much as us when they're finished route, if not more. 